Hello Rachel, this will be some video feedback on your Milestone 1. Uh, Rachel, um, I'm sorry to hear that you've had a uh, trying week and uh, uh, I don't know what else to say except you're not alone. <laughs> uh, the ads. Nice. I, I hope this gave you some serenity. Um, I remember how skilled <clears throat> your adjustment layers were for this image of the Buddha and how you changed the color cast. Um, I really don't think you need to outline uh, the type, and I think it actually distorts it somewhat. And that certainly extends to the logo. <clears throat> I'm just saying, uh, try to keep them, I, you know, there's really, I don't think the outline serves a purpose. You can argue for it, um, and I, you know, it comes down to a personal preference, really. But, <clears throat> uh, and similarly, the border, I think I'd rather see the image bleed off all four sides. Uh, the problem with borders in magazines is that uh, they may disappear in the gutter, depending on whether it's a left or a right-hand page. <coughs> and also, magazines are trimmed, um, and the tolerances might not be all that great. So, you know, you take a chance. Um, if you do use a border, make it equal, and be careful about bringing uh, anything too close to the edge, you know, for the trim reason. Um, I think, you know, you've got the basics uh, there. You're going to need some contact information, um, but try to add it discreetly. And um, this type that you've used is a chancery italic. Um, it's pretty common. You know, if you're going to use a italic other than the uh, logo italic, which is hard to find, by the way, uh, then I would make something that's not so as ubiquitous as chancery italic. But again, that's just a suggestion. Um, <clears throat> remember that the aerial is the corporate typeface, so you might consider using that. Alrighty, um, I'm going to take a look at your Illustrator file next. Rachel, are you learning French too? <laughs> I am struggling. Um, here's your Illustrator file. It's great. You've got everything. Let me zoom out. You've got everything on its own layer. You've embedded images uh, rather than merely linked to them. <clears throat> it makes it, uh, ooh, isn't that nice? Just that. Uh, it makes the uh, uh, file uh, freestanding and, what, what, what can I say, independent. And a service bureau will love you. I really do think, though, that <clears throat> you can, um, you know, get rid of the border. Uh, I think the image that you work so hard on is, you know, is that's all you need. And the type, I, I was suggesting um, <clears throat> suggesting uh, something other than Chancery Italic. Let me search around for something. Uh, okay, this is a, an English uh, 19th century engraved script. I don't know if it's the thing either. Um, and ooh, <laughs> word spacing is odd. Yeah, it's an old font. Um, <clears throat> I'm not sure, but something that's not as ubiquitous as perhaps uh, Chancery Italic, and you know, changing the color, of course, would help. Um, but you can you can scroll through these to get the uh, the right shade. Um, placement, of course, you know, for maximum contrasts good too, but a light touch as you have with all the other ingredients uh, that you selected. And again, I don't think that these need to be outlined. I would turn that off. See, that's I think that's enough contrast between the, <clears throat> the solid color and the background. Alrighty, I think I'll leave it here. Um, try other arrangements though. You know, I, I don't be too wedded to this, but whatever you do, keep the uh, serenity of it. And I bid you strength and serenity in the weeks to come.